Did I miss a weather advisory? Oh, I was trying to catch up on things at the station. Work is my new priority. Work, work, and more work. Okay. Thank you. Well, that sounds like a plan. As long as you're not burying yourself in it just because Mike Kaznoff left town. Uh, me? Use work to forget about a man, Carl? I hate you. Are you going to start talking about jumping on a plane again? Am I nuts? Well, you know what I think. I think you should wait. But if you want to go, go. We got way too heavy way too soon. It's good he went to Venezuela. Really, it's... Are you trying to convince me? Or you? Rosanna? Yes, hi, Molly. I just dropped by to ask you a little favor. It's uh, about Mike. This won't take but a moment of your time. Good. Uh, hey, uh... Hello, Carly. <laughs> Uh, then I'll let you two get back to whatever you know, we're doing. You know, it really drives me crazy when people pop in without calling first, especially when the pop caller's wearing your face. So make it quick, Ro. Well, I'm so sorry. I, uh, just happened to stumble across this book, and, uh, well, Mike lent it to me, and I was hoping that you could return it to him. The art of racing. Are you kidding me or what? How lame is this? She's only here because she's dying to know what's between you and Mike. Look at her. She's positively green. How do you manage daily living when you're this delusional? You're jealous, Rosanna. It's eating you raw that Mike has been oh, seeing Molly. That is so Because ridiculous. you're still in love with him. But he swatted you away like a fly. So why don't you get real for once in your pathetic life and tell the truth? Do you think that I care one bit about some casual thing between Mike and Molly? You're damn right I do. <sighs> and this thing between Mike and Molly, it isn't casual. They're hot for each other, <laughs> Carly. Well, it's true. They can't even walk into a room without setting off the sprinklers. And it's not just the sex. Mike wants Molly more than he's ever wanted anybody. He's even offered to make a commitment. He's willing to settle down and live right here in Oakdale with her. No, you won't find that in a Cracker Jack box. You will make sure that Mike gets that book, won't you? He's gone. He's gone? He took a job in Venezuela. Venezuela? Is there an echo in here? Well, he never spoke to me about... Any job last time we talked? Yeah, well, he got the offer right after you left town. Take a look. Well, I guess I'll just have to hang on to this a little bit longer, won't I? Unless, um, well, neither one of you will be going to Venezuela anytime soon, will you? No. No, I won't. Wait a minute, Rosanna. This big coincidence, this out-of-town business, what did you do? Did you pull some cabot strings to get Mike a job out of the country? Oh, that's preposterous. Is it? And I bet Mike doesn't know a thing about it, does he? <laughs> On the money, aren't I, Rosanna? Uh, Mike would never take a favor from you. Well, talk about what one finds in a Cracker Jack box. That's a charming little rhinestone, Carly. How sweet. This ring was given to me by a man on bended knee, proposing marriage to me. And FYI, they are diamonds, purchased with hard-earned cash by a man who knows how to treat his woman. How positively bust up. Just take a good look. Because this is as close to love and commitment as you will ever be. Well, I'm so happy for you and Jack. It is Jack who proposed, isn't it? I mean, with you, one never can be <laughs> Well, aren't you dying to know how Craig took the news? No. He was right there, watching. It's a pity you weren't there to sweep up the broken pieces. Well, I'm sure Craig may be smarting a little bit, but I'll take care of that. He has a rather fertile imagination, as do I. I'm sure I'll find some way to make him happy. Don't worry. Hey, don't you change the subject. I would still bet my right, my right eye that you arranged this. You arranged for Mike to have a job out of the country. <sighs> Ugh! Mom? 
Okay. So what? So she won around. What are you talking about? You were great. She got the information she wanted. What does she know now that she didn't before? She knows that you are out of Mike's grasp. She knows that I am engaged to Jack. So that makes Craig an easier bear to trap. How do I hate her? Let me count the ways. Do you really think that she pulled strings to get Mike out of the country? That's how her scheming little mind works. And unfortunately, she's got the pocketbook to fund it. Mike would be irate if he knew anything about this. He would spit Venezuelan nails. Let's check it out. Ah, this is the kind of research I did every day at the station, okay? Yes, this is Molly McKinnon from WAK in Oakdale, Illinois. Right, hi. I'm doing a feature on the Cabot Foundation and all of its various projects worldwide. Would you be so kind as to fax me a list at home? Great, thank you. Okie dokie. Now it's just a matter of time, cuz, before we find out if Rosanna is the wizard behind the curtain. This is everything the Cabot Foundation funded in the last two years. Design and construction of District Elementary School. On-site work begins summer 2002. Caracas, Venezuela. <gasps> Bingo. If Rosanna can't have Mike, she doesn't want anybody to have Mike. Where's that little twit? No, 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 head, head off, off, honey. Catch more with a net than you do a right hook. Did Mike leave you a fax number or anything? Uh, oh, I just got something. Yeah, here. Right here. So right under the Cabot logo. Attention, Mike Caswell. That's it? No cover letter? No explanation? Mike will know exactly what it means. 